In this video, we're going to show how to use the e-commerce templates content management system to set up a page which can be edited through the control panel. This is the design we're working from and this is where the content will appear. We'll also add the link to the dynamic menus. We've got three menus here, but obviously on your site, you'll probably just use the one. So here we are in, in Dreamweaver. This is the page we're working from. We take a page, an existing page, in this case, the About page. We need to clear out some space in the center of the page, as this is where the content will appear once we've set it up. So let's just replace that with a few X's so we know where we are. Then we need to add the include line. This is the ASP version or PHP. Here we're using ASP, so we'll copy that and paste it into code view where we set up these four X's before. It's important that this line comes somewhere after the other four ASP or PHP include lines. Let's save that page now as article.asp. And then we'll upload it to the server. So let's go onto the control panel, go to the content regions link on the left hand side, click on new content region and give the region a name. So this is our first article, so we'll call it article one. Here we're using the FCK editor, so you can format the HTML which is just setting up a, a quick example here, so uh, we're not really using it. This is the content that will appear in that space that we showed at the beginning. As I said, you can use the FCK editor to provide formatting. For example, a really simple example here is making the bold type Submit that so it's saved and then check that it's saved. You'll notice it's called region equals four. That's important now because we're going to add it to the menu. So we go onto the categories page. We set up a new category. Although this isn't really a category, it's the way that we need to add it to the dynamic menus. So the name that we want it to appear on the menu is new article. The working name is for internal use only. We're making it a subcategory here. And the only other thing we need to add is the category L. So it's article.asp. And then the region name we set up, if you remember, that was region equals four. So let's Submit that and save it. Now, if we go on to the page, you'll see it's been added to the menu. Click on the link and this is the page that we've now set up, which is controlled through the control panel. We can change the menu link to hang off uh, another page. So for example, here, we're going to modify it. And so it's going to be a subcategory of the home page. So let's change that subcategory of home page, submit, and then go back to our page again. And we'll see on the drop down now, new article is now included in the drop down there, the pop out, or in the accordion menu here. That's all about all there is to it, but if you've got any questions, please do get in contact with us.